that comes out of my mouth. So I take this job seriously and I want to let the word of God preach. Amen. 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 I want to turn your attention to the second epistle of Timothy. Amen. The second letter that Paul wrote to Timothy. I'm turning your attention there. Amen. We're going to uh, skip around a little bit. Amen. We're going to take a little bit out of the first chapter, the second chapter, and the fourth chapter. Amen. And then we're going to, amen, focus in on Acts, the 28th chapter. Amen. But I'm just, we're just going to read one verse out of that. But the majority of our preaching is going to come out of that. Yes. Amen. And we want to just lay the foundation with this. Amen. I ask you to stand, amen, for the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to read, um, in the first chapter, we're going to read the 6th, uh, the 7th, the 8th, and the ninth verse. In the second chapter, we're going to read the 3rd and the 4th verse. And then in the 4th chapter, we're going to read the 7th verse. And then we're going to go into Acts, the 28th chapter. And we are going to read, amen, we're going to read the fifth verse, amen, out of there. And then we'll take our text and we'll preach and whatever God wants to do, he'll do. Amen. 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 The first chapter, starting at the sixth verse, wherefore I put thee in remembrance that Thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power and love and of a sound mind. Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Jesus Christ before the world began. Amen. Amen. And I just want to read the uh, 12th verse, amen, and for the which cause I suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know in whom I believe, and am persuaded that he is able to keep which I have committed unto him against that day. Yes. Amen. And now down to the third verse in the second chapter. Thou therefore endure hardness yes. as a good soldier. No man that warreth entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have called him to be a soldier. <coughs> Fourth chapter, seventh verse. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Yes. X 28, amen, and 5. Amen. And he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, Lord God, right now to bless, Lord God, your servant. Oh, God, to preach your word, Lord God, according to how you want it to be preached, Lord God. Oh, God, we get out of the way and we allow you to have full reign and course in this place, Lord. You know what your people need, Lord God. You know, Lord God, what they have to deal with throughout the week. Oh, God. And Lord God, you called us to preach to them. Oh, God. So we give ourselves, Lord God, over to you. Oh, God, we step out of the way. Hallelujah. Oh, God, and we bind all fear, all doubt, oh, yes. God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, God, and Lord Jesus, anything that's not like you, Lord God, we cast it out of the mist in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, and we will be careful.
careful to give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody turn to your neighbor, amen, and say, stay in the fight. Stay in the fight. Amen. Stay in the fight. Yes. Hallelujah. Saints of God, amen. We, amen, and I know you hear it many times, but I want to remind you, we are living in the last days. Amen. We are living in a time where amen, men is turning away from the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Many of our people now have itching ears and want to hear different things and different tables. Yes. Amen. Uh, the gospel of Christ is not popular anymore. Yes. Amen. Everybody wants to get what they want. Amen. And now it's turned to about it turn it's turning to about us. You know, what we can get, how blessed we are, how many finances we have, yes. our status, amen. When it was never about us, <laughs> amen. Jesus Christ said that you first have to deny who? Yourself. Yourself. Amen. I, I, there's some Bible people in this place. Yes. Amen. And we have to deny ourselves. That's what the word of God is all about. We die to ourselves yes. so that Christ can live. Yes. Amen. We have given up our lives so that Christ can have full reign and do what he wants to do. Amen. God is still a sovereign God. He yes. does what he wants, when he wants, how he wants. Yes. Amen. And all we are is just a piece of the puzzle. Yes. Amen. We're just glad that God, amen, out of everybody in the world, that God chose us. Amen. To do his work. Amen. How many of you are still thankful that God chose you? Amen. From the foundation of the world. Amen. God filled you with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You, amen, heard the message. Amen. And you said yes. Amen. Many, amen, heard the message. Amen. And they did not say yes. Amen. They went away and they developed their own ideas. Amen. Everybody has their own religion today. Amen. You can get every flavor in the world. Amen. Amen. Well, they, okay, you don't have to be baptized here. You don't have to speak in tongues here. Amen. But I don't care what no man says. The Bible is still right. Amen. Amen. And we got to hold on to the word of God. Amen. And even in a time like this when the enemy is coming in like a flood. Amen. He is trying to take over the house of God. But somebody ought to say not in this house. Amen. Not on my watch. Not while I am alive. I'm going to continue to pray. Amen. I'm going to continue to fast. I'm going to continue to hold on. Amen. Until I see Jesus. And guess what? It will continue, amen, through the next generation because I'm going to tell somebody so that they can continue, amen, to carry on this gospel, yes. amen. But we are in a time, amen, where men are worried about status. Women are worried about status. Who's going to be the next missionary president? Who's going to be the head of the deacon board? Who's going to be the next apostle? Amen. I don't care about all that. All I want to know is when Jesus is coming and when I can be ready. Is there some rapture ready folks in this place? Give God a praise. Hallelujah. But we are in those times and six of God we got to be strong. we got to continue to hold on to the things that we have been taught. Yes. Amen. The baptism in Jesus' name yes. is still right. Amen. Yes. Being filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues is still right. Yes. Amen. Living holy before God is still right. And I want to be right in these last days. I want to be holy in these last days. Amen. And so, amen, we read about Paul talking to Timothy. He was encouraging him. Amen. In the first chapter, amen, Paul was, amen, encouraging Timothy to build up the church. He was encouraging him. But in the second chapter, amen, the second, amen, epistle, we see a different Paul. Amen. Paul is in bonds. He is locked up. 
Amen. And theologians say that these are were one of Paul's last letters, amen, to Timothy, amen, before he was beheaded, amen. And so he wanted to leave instruction to Timothy, amen. And he told them that, amen, it's going to be a time where they don't endure sound doctrine, amen. It's going to be a time, amen, when they're going to give heed to fables. But I want you to be strong, Timothy, amen. God did not give us the spirit of fear. Look, I know I'm in bounds. I know I'm tied up. I know that my death may be around the corner, but Timothy, I need you to hold on. Amen. Remember the gift that I have put in you. Amen. Remember that time when you called on the name of Jesus and he filled you with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Stir up that gift sometimes when you start getting into trouble when it seems like all hell is around. You need to stir up that gift in you. Amen. It's that gift, amen, that makes us move. We live, we move, we have our being by that gift. Amen. We move by the Spirit. Amen. Paul said, amen, those that are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. Amen. And today, men want to be led by the flesh. Oh, amen. help us, God. Amen. It's not about singing under the anointing anymore. Help us, It's Jesus. about singing under the flesh. Amen. It's not about preaching under the anointing anymore. It's about preaching to the flesh. Amen. And we want to bring flesh into the church. We want to build up flesh in the church. And we wonder why all this drama is going on. Help amen. Us, Lord. Why all this fornication and adultery is going on because flesh is in the church. Come on, help amen. us. Flesh Lord. can't live before God. Amen. A carnal mind is enmity yeah. against yes, God. God. Yes. Amen. Things of God is foolish. Amen. To a carnal mind. Amen. Yes. And now we are allowing carnal preachers to come preach to us. Amen. And they don't have no spirit in them. Amen. But they preach what sounds good. And we're ready to shout amen. And while they're blaring things that are not biblically sound. But now we're dealing with a generation that don't know any Bible. Amen. They don't they only know the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. You got to know more than that in these last and people days. Amen. Back amen in my father's time. Amen. And, 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 and y'all know, amen, the older saints, amen. You used to consider 12 year old to talk to the Jehovah Witness and they would wear them out with the word. But now, today, you can't even get a 30 year old. Oh, my God. Help us, oh, Lord. God, to, to talk because they don't know. Amen. All they want to know is what can I get? What, how can I be blessed? Amen. But God said, take upon my yoke and learn of who? Me. Yes. Amen. Because my yoke is easy yes. and my burden is light. Amen. And this thing has to be about Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. We have to learn of him. Amen. In order to have a successful marriage, we got to learn of him. In order to have a successful family, we got to learn of him. Amen. He knows all. He created us. Amen. He knows the way we take. Amen. He yes. came down and wrapped himself in the flesh and was able to bear the temptations of the world. So he knows the struggles that we go through. Yes. Amen. And he knows the way. He set the example. He taught us so much in this word. Amen. That has the answer to every situation that you need. Amen. And it's not in the new house. Amen. And it's good to be blessed. I'm not saying that we should all be poor and busted and disgusted. Amen. If God bless you, he bless you. Amen. And be thankful for it because the Lord giveth and the Lord can take away. Amen. But blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. And we need to learn how to Praise God when the Lord gives, and we need to learn how to praise God just as much when the Lord takes them away. Come on, to yeah. bless it, be the name of the Lord. I thank the Lord for the time that you allowed me to have it. Amen. And whenever you bless me again, I'll be thankful again. But right now, in between blessings, I'm just going to give you glory. Amen. We don't go through, we just, amen, take breaks. In between miracles, amen. Yeah, we just wait yeah. for the next miracle to happen. Yeah. Amen. Because God takes us from faith to faith and from glory to glory.
glory and God wants to produce glory. Yes. Give God some praise. Yes. And so, amen, he was leaving instruction to Timothy. Amen. Timothy, amen, was afraid. Amen. He, amen, and that's why he had to, amen, say, look, man, God has not given us the spirit of fear. Amen. Sometimes fear and the troubles of this life can make you forget. Amen. Fear will make you forget. Amen. Have you ever had to do an assignment? And next thing you know, fear just overtook you, and you just forgot everything that you were supposed to do. Yeah. Amen. Fear will cripple you, yeah. amen, to the point where you are inactive. And that's yeah. what the enemy wants you to do. He wants you to be unfruitful and barren in this season. Amen. We heard the word this morning, amen, that if you abide in me oh, no. and my word abide in you, yeah. amen, he will make us fruitful. He will yeah. give us the word, amen, to say in this dry season. Somebody is looking for a word. Amen. And we have to remain focused. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Even, amen, in the natural, amen, when we're traveling across the highway, sometimes we run into traffic. Yes. Amen. And then when we come up, amen, to the situation, we find that the accident was on the other side of the road. Yes. And we say, wait a minute, what in the world? But it's called a gaper to delay. Yes. Amen. Everybody is distracted yes. by what's on the other side of the road. And saints of God, we can go through gate or delays. Amen. Yes. We get distracted yes. when the devil is trying to do things yes. in our lives. Come on. Amen. We can get off course when the devil tries to do things in your life. Amen. I, we always say the devil will take your finances. He don't care about your finances. He wants you. Yes. He don't care about your house. He wants you. Yes. <laughs> he wants you to give up and to get out of the will of God and to get frustrated and, and to, amen, look at the drama that's going on around you. Amen. Look at the saints that are not getting along. Look at all the politics that's, that's lining up and it will make you forget what you're here to do. And so, amen, Timothy was looking at the things that Paul was going through, he was locked up, he was bound, amen. Timothy was also young, amen. He always had to say, look, neglect, amen. Let no man despise your youth, amen. Look, Timothy, you're young, you're gifted, amen. You have the gift of the Holy Ghost. You have different administrations that are put in you, but uh, you can't forget, amen. You can't get distracted by the gate with delays. Even those that are in season, that are a little older, amen, God has put some things in you for such a time like this. Yes. Amen. And when you begin to walk in your calling, the enemy will start getting busy. Oh, yeah. Amen. He wants you to get out of your calling, to start looking around. Amen. Don't you, amen, wonder young people, amen, when you weren't saved, amen, you was trying to get a girlfriend and a boyfriend, it was so hard. But once you get the Holy Ghost, everybody want to look at you. <laughs> because there's something about you. God beautified you, amen, with the Holy Ghost. He gives you a nice character. He gives you peace, and people are looking for that. Amen. To my singles, I want to encourage you. Continue to be dressed in the Lord. You are gifted. You are beautiful. Amen. And there's somebody that's going to be looking. Amen. When I saw my wife, I was tired of playing games. And I said, you know what? I want a woman of God. I want somebody that's going to pray me through. I'm tired. Amen. Of, of messing with these women that just want to be cute and they don't have no substance. Right, I want somebody with substance. I want somebody that will pray in the midnight hour when I'm going through. Amen. And I saw my wife come up from the altar. Tears down her eyes. She wasn't in the most beautiful state, but she was beautiful to me because I saw the glory of God on her. Amen. And I said, that's what I want. I want somebody like that. Amen. When we walk in the Lord, when we do things in the Lord, we are treasures on this earth. Amen. We have treasures in this earthen vessel. And you are special. Amen. You are awesome. You need to tell yourself. You got to remind yourself because fear wants to get in and make you forget who yeah. you are. Yeah. Wow. Right. Wow. Even us, amen, this is 
is a missionary service, amen. And you know our focus is souls, amen. We want people to come to the altar. And when people start coming to the altar, look for the attack. Amen. Look, amen, for things to start happening, amen, to get you off focus. So, amen, because he don't want nobody that's going to be praying over the souls. He wants you worried about what's going to happen tomorrow. Worry about how the bills is going to get due. Because when the prayers start lining up, amen, when two or three, amen, agree, amen, things start shaking and shifting around and something got to move. Something got to happen. Amen. Can we get back to having those prayer services in the house? Amen. When we just touched in the Greek and it was all about Jesus because I still want to see Jesus. So he said, Timothy, endure hardness as a good soldier. Amen. The soldier for me, he's not concerned about the things of this world. Amen. But he's concerned about his mission. What am I here to do? What is my purpose? Amen. What did God, amen, I went through all this mess, amen, in my younger days. I went through all of these things, amen, and all of them work together for the good, amen, to them that love God and are called according to what? His purpose. And so you went through it for his purpose, but now it's time to do something with it, amen. Now it's time to testify about it. Now it's time to tell somebody about it, but you can't be distracted by people that's going to criticize you. Amen. When you start getting serious, amen, you will start making people uncomfortable. Amen. When you start wanting to serve God, amen, the people that were around you, that used to, amen, get you to do whatever they want. When you start getting the backbone now, they want to talk about you. Oh, you trying to be beaten now. Oh, you trying to do this. Oh, you trying to do that. But that's the devil they just intimidated. They say, yeah, I'm trying to do it. Yeah, I'm trying to be holy. I'm trying to do what God called me to do in these last and evil days. I don't care if you criticize me. I don't care if you talk about me. But I'm going to do the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we got to endure. Hardness. Yes. Amen. It's just words. That's all it is. Uh -huh. It's just words. That's all. They can't do nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if you got a Judas in your life, help us. Judas Jesus. can only work in God's will. <laughs> that's all he can do. Come on, preach. He he's destroying you, but he's just making you stronger. Yes. Amen. He thinks he's destroying you, but he's just making you wiser. Come on. Amen. He's just making you better. Amen. I thank God for my hurts because guess what? It hurt, but it works. Amen. It worked to his glory. Amen. I thank God for the times I was criticized. I thank God for the times they turned their back on me. And guess what? I don't hate you. You can hate me, but I love you because God told me to love you. Amen. And I'm not going to come down on your level. Amen. And worry about you. We got to stop focusing on our heads. Come on. Amen. We talk about haters too much in the church. Too much. We need to grow up and be a man. And say, what? You want to talk about me? Well, they talked about Jesus. They did it to a green tree. So they'll do it to a dry tree. And guess what? Blessed are they when they persecute you. When they talk all men against you. They just set you up for a blessing. Let them talk. Stop focusing on them. Stop focusing on the churches that's jealous of you. Just let them talk. That's why God's blessing. That's why the Holy Ghost is moving. But once you start looking at the delays, it'll start slowing things down. Yes. Wow. So you just say, hey, glory. Go ahead, y'all. Y'all can, you know what, have your own little pity party. But we're going to have some church in here. We got to endure hardness. As a good soldier. Yes, Lord. Whatever I gotta go through, I made up my mind that I'm gonna go through it for Jesus. Amen. It hurts sometimes. Yes, 
We're human. We're going to get frustrated. But amen, we got to be reminded. Well, look, I just got to remind myself, amen, that I'm going to see Jesus. Amen. And I don't always have to go through this. Amen. Amen. I, I'll go through it for a little while, but after you suffer for a little while, amen, he will establish yes. you. He will promote you. Yes. He will make you into who he wants to be. He that begun a good work and you shall perform it until the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And so Paul said, look, Timothy, I fought a good fight. I finished my course. I kept the faith. I can hear him talking to us right now. Look, I did what I had to do, but now I need you to stay in the fight. I, I, I need you to be strong in these. It's not time to give up during this time. I need you to stay in the fight. I need you to Hallelujah. continue to be hungry and thirsty for me because I mean those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, what? Shall, shall be filled. That shell word again. Shall <laughs> be filled. Amen. And it's going to happen. Amen. Yeah. It sh I'm shall. Yeah. I'm going to be filled. God yeah. is going to fulfill yeah. his purpose. He's going to work in me the will to do of his own good, good pleasure. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. But Paul, amen, went through some things. Amen. We found in, in Acts the 28th chapter. Amen. We see that Paul, amen, amen, he he did not just do a whole lot of talking. He lived this. Amen. And I want to encourage you, amen, in this. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to touch on this a little bit and I'm going to sit down. Amen. And so we see, amen, in this situation, Paul was in bondage. He was Amen and bounds. Amen. And uh and the devil, amen, was trying to attack him because he had different people that he had to minister to. Amen. He just left King Agrippa, amen, ministering to That's him. Right. And, and amen. And he almost had him. He said, Whoa, you persuade me <laughs> to be oh, a I, I almost <laughs> But, but even in that, amen, can you imagine being in Paul's shoes? You almost got somebody. <laughs> amen. And, and now, you you know, you can, you can get a little discouraged because it's like, I almost got them to turn. <laughs> amen. But, but they just didn't turn. I, I don't know what the influences around him. I don't know if maybe he'll, he would have got killed if he stand for the gospel of Jesus Christ because, amen, it's not like this time. See, we can preach in freedom. Right. I mean, we don't know how good we have Come it right on, now. Come on, that's right. Amen. But, amen, they were dying for the gospel of Christ. That's why, amen, these weak preachers crack me up. Amen. Amen. We got to preach this gospel. Look, this little bit of rumors, what? Amen. Nobody is trying to take off our head and trying to hang us and, and trying to take our children away. And then all we got is a little bit of rumors if we want to get in our little corner and have a pity party. Man up! Oh. <laughs> and so, and so, hey man, I, I just feel like I'm home today. That's all right. You be home. Preach. Amen. And so, amen, now after that, now he's on the ship. And God reveals to him that they're going to be in danger yes. if they sailing in a certain direction. Yeah. Have you ever been in that situation where God revealed something to you? He saw people in trouble and God used you to speak to them and they did not receive it. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the rejection and, and the pain? God, you told me yes. and, and they're not listening. Uh, God, was that you? You you told me this, and and, and it seems like they they think oh I'm God. a joke. Amen. Oh, you just starting trouble. Amen. Especially when it's trouble. Now you're a troublemaker. Oh, you, <laughs> you're trying to cause division in the church. Uh, uh, you're trying to disrupt. Them. Amen. You're attacking the ministry. Amen. But if God showed you. Amen. We got to say it. All right. Amen. And that's why I like this man of God. Amen. He's going to preach the truth and he don't care if you like it or not. He's going to preach it. And that's what we need in these times. Amen. And so because of that, he had to go through the shipwreck. Okay. So I almost converted King Agrippa. Uh, 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 now 
I prophesied to this man, he did not receive me. Now I gotta go through the consequences. Yeah. Mm, Jesus. Any of us probably would have gave up right there, but Paul stayed in the fight. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so now he had to get on the plates and, and go to dry ground. Yes. Suffer because they did not listen to God. Yes. Amen. And so now, so he's been through all of that. Amen. And even today, amen, you won't fit in all the time. Amen. When God That's is right. dealing with you, amen. My, my pastor used to say back in the day, God's going to take a church out of a church. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> amen. Just because people shout and speak in tongues. That's right. Preach. Like spiritual. That's right. Preach. Amen. They can speak in all the tongues in the world, That's but right. when you start talking spiritual, oh, you just being too deep. Yes. Yeah. When God is just showing you revelation, see, when you learn of him, God will show you a revelation. He'll begin to open up things to you. But, see, people are, are seeking tongues, and they're seeking the shout, but they're not seeking God. Uh-oh. Help us. Help us, Lord. And when God starts revealing truth to you, amen, you will face that type of rejection. Amen. Oh, here comes Sister So-and-So again. Uh, see, I see. Yeah, shacking up. We can shack up all we want. You know, we're we not doing anything. The devil is a liar. <laughs> and, uh, oh, we. Oh, it's all right. We can do this. And we all oh, here comes Sister So and So. Let Let Let's straighten up. And you're supposed to be church folks. Jesus. Help us, Lord. But but, but I, and we see it all the time. Somebody, you just throw the ten people right now that's going through the same thing right now. Because we are living in that time where they're not enduring. Sound God. Yes, help us, God. And now you have become the enemy in the same organization that you're in. Come on. <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> the same thing the oh. grandfather preached, you still preaching. Oh, that was old school. That's so that's done away with. Wait a minute. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let God be true in every man. Be alive. Jesus. Jesus. God is a man that does not lie. Neither is he's a son of man that shall repent. Amen. If you look up that word repent, it means I don't change my mind. I don't change what I have said. What I have said, it's in stone. And no man can change it. I don't care if you're T.D. Jakes. I don't care if you're Joe Osteen. I don't care if you're President Obama. Amen. God's word is right. And I don't care what you say. I'm going to hold on. To God's word. Yeah. And so now he's on the plates, and now he's now we're moving into the 28th chapter. Amen. That was the 27th chapter. And so, amen. I, I'm a context preacher, I believe, and preaching in context. Amen. And so now he's on this island. Uh, all these barbarian people. And they showed a little kindness, you know, they showed a little love. Amen. But so now he's working. Amen. He's been through all that. And he's still in the fight. Minding his own business, gathering up some sticks. Amen. First he came, the devil tried to get him with almost reaching somebody. The devil, amen. God tried to get him through man. The devil tried to get him through the storm. And now he said, you know what? I gotta try to get him myself. <laughs> Amen. If you look at this, amen. If you look at, if you really study nature, when the snake bites you, it draws back. It doesn't snatch on to you. Mm -hmm. Break it down. A venomous yes. snake doesn't snatch. Now, if it's non-venomous, it will try to squeeze the life out of you. But this was a venomous snake wow. that latched on to Paul. So this was a demonic attack. Wow. Amen. Come on. Because there was there is no snake that is poisonous that will latch on to you. Yes. And so the devil said, I want to get him myself. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. And then all oh, while that was happening, here comes the folks. Oh, what did he do? <laughs> oh, he was a murderer. Look, uh, he just went through all of this. <laughs> Amen. And that's what they're saying. The saints do that too. <laughs> oh, they go through all this. Now, when they go through, oh, this is my test. All right, all right. But then when 